Hello folks, I'm back in the woods again and today I'm going to be doing some traditional woodland management. I'm going to be coppicing hazel, so let's explain how that works. Here is a classic hazel coppice ready to be cut. Lots of long poles growing from the base of the tree. For small scale woodland work, we can use hand tools like these. No chainsaws required. So when we're coppicing, although we're cutting down the tree, we're not aiming to kill the tree. We are encouraging regeneration. This will grow back um, and we'll probably cut this on somewhere between a three to seven year cycle. It's all part of a sustainable woodland management plan. Not all trees regrow when you cut them back. Some species respond better than others, and hazel, ash, and sweet chestnut are particularly good. Here's a beautiful little frog. Look at this guy who's just appeared in the hazel I've been coppicing here. Beautiful. I'll leave him alone. Coppicing is something that's been practiced for thousands of years, and here's a hazel tree that's been coppiced a few times before, and now we've got this lovely regrowth. Not only do we get a whole range of sustainable wood products when we coppice, but it also creates valuable habitat for wildlife that relies on it. In the foreground, you can see the fresh coppice stool we've just created. And at the back there, there's the result of a few years of a coppice stool left to regrow. Fantastic stuff. So here's the finished coppice stool, all cut down low with all the slopes going away to prevent rot. A nice job, and that's gonna regrow and create new hazel in the next few years. 